Right, my next squiggy build. These fellas, Boing Rock Bounders. Can't, I really don't like that name, Boing Rock. I'll just call them Bounders from now on. And yeah, they're like the more elaborate, fancy versions of your regular squig hoppers. They just armoured better. And um, yeah, so uh, that's what I'm doing next. And I've made a start. So here we are. Um, and in the background, there are my existing squig hoppers, my 10 existing squig hoppers, right? So as you can see, I've, I've made a start and basically with this kit, you get 10 bodies, all right? 10 bodies which are fixed to a certain base. You've got no choice in that, but you have 10 bodies, right? Um, what you then have, oh, by the way, you have quite a stacked amount, six sprues stacked with parts. This is a multi-part kit, which is good because that's going to benefit me because I don't want to match anything that I've already done. All right. Um, so once you've got your 10 bodies, um, you, the next step is to stick the tongue in, so to speak. And I really don't see the point in this. I mean, you have 10 different open mouths and tongues. All right, so they're interchangeable, but with most of them, you can't actually see the tongue. So I don't really see the point in doing this. I would have thought it had been just much easier and quicker and simpler just to cast that body with a fixed tongue. You're not going to see that much of, of them. All right, so that's what we do there. All right, um, and then you've got 10 bodies. Um, the bodies are all the same, whether you use these or your bounders. The difference being uh, the heads are different and the uh, weapons arm is different. All right. So my challenge, what I've got to do is just to, to vary things up a bit is um, I've got to ensure that a, a face that I've already done isn't on the body that I've already done and the rider isn't on that same one. OK, to just mix it up a bit. Right. Um, things are complicated slightly in that when I made these years ago, I had no intention of doing the bounders. So when I came to do the the, the boss of my squeak hoppers, I actually did put on the um, uh, bounder boss. All right. So this now isn't a squeak hopper boss. This is my bounder boss. I've already got one done. All right. So uh, so he's one of the new factions. So out of my new kit, I've had to make a, a boss for the regular bounders, and that's him, right? So it's the same boss squig head, but I've put it on a different body. I'm not supposed to, but it would look daft if you've got two bosses on the same squig doing the same thing. So that's the squig boss head. That's your goblin boss. There's his floppy hat. And what I've done is it's a different body to the other one. And even though he holds the same staff thing, this moon scythe thing, what I've done with this one, just to differentiate him, is I've moved the angle of the arm round so it's in a different pose. All right. So as I say, the next trick is, <coughs> excuse me, um, putting a face onto a body that I haven't already done. All right. Um, and that's what I've done. First of all, with where is it? Yeah, this fella, this fella here, right? The, the Cyclops one, which I really like. All right. He's on that body. So I've made a start. And what I've done is I've put him on a different body. Right. That's fine. And also the goblin is now in a different pose which is good, right? So I'm feeling quite smug, but I've only just realized when I was putting these figures out that there's actually two Cyclops ones. And uh, that's my other one there. All right. And it's bloody sod's law that I just happened to have put him on the same bloody body. So I've got two there which are exactly the same. Look, the rider's different, but the face and the body's different. 
Shouldn't be too bad though, because another thing that I must do is like, again, with this Cyclops one, ensure that both of them, now I know there's two, both of them have a different color scheme to the two I've already got, all right? So I'm looking forward to the next bit, which is just choosing a, a body and a head and an arm and a face to stick on a body. And uh, yeah, I'll pop back once all these are built and primed. Right, there they are, assembled and primed. And what I've got now is each face. So I've got two of the Cyclops ones. I've got two of them, two of them, right? I've put them in front of the one that I've already got painted up. So when I go to put the base coats on, I know I'm not going to duplicate and make it all too samey. So each one of these has a colour scheme different to the face behind it. You see what I mean? And I've had to line up all the colours here. So I remember when I'm starting to do dry brushing and washing, just who has what colour. All right, so I've got all the flesh tones done. Uh, the, the skin colors on and washed so let's go through them one by one so that's the goblin boss right I was going to do a like a, a gold brassy armor for him uh, to distinguish him from the um, the other one I've got which is like regular metal but gold on that tan is going to be a bit too close so I think I'm going to go metals oh by the way I've done all the, the mouths as well not the teeth obviously but the gums gum areas so that's that oh and the other thing that I've done with all of these these are very top heavy but luckily um, the two piece hot glued in there is just right so that's that one uh, I'm doing another red black like so, with him. Then we've got the other Cyclops one. Like so, um, gone all yellow. Quite vibrant, but you know I want them to all be distinctive. Also, you know um, the colours aren't finished. I'll be doing all the little boils and things like that still to come uh, that one had a red head and a black body this one's got a black head and a red body you can see I'm, I'm just on some of them just doing a bit of dry brushing and changing the color so they're not all one color because that can get a bit boring um, talking about boring uh, this is my gray one I've done a gray one before so this is my gray one um, but he's going to have yellow eyes and I'm going to make sure his teeth are nice and bright. Right. Going the other way with this fella. Who, uh, I think that was pallid witch flesh. And, um, so he was practically white, but I put that, uh, that Petrucci violet or whatever it's called, put a wash over it. So it made it quite a nice little like lavender. That's that one. Got two greens next. Uh, this one, which is the brightest of the two, but I, again, I've got to be careful. You know, the goblin's going to be holding on to him. I can't have him too similar a green to um, the uh, goblin skin. This one, I've gone much more colourful with. Okay, and uh, I'd like to do more on the top and just make these far more colourful. But you can't because you've got a, a rider up on top so everything's got to be on the underside so i've done it on him because you know he's he's rearing up and you can actually see a bit of it um my other green is a dark green he's the one with the ripped face um which i've got to put all his scarring in like so all right i might put some more washes on or dry brushing and I think that fella I haven't shown. All right, 
nearly horned one I got this time. And again, I've been dry brushing some orange and reds on his extremities and giving him a bit of rouge for some reason on his cheeks. So that's that. Next thing, do the teeth and then start the slog of picking out all the, the robes in dark grey. Nearly there now, just starting to pick out the boils and treat them. Uh, done all the metallics, picked out the helmets in white, starting on the bases and uh, doing the eyes. Some are big, some are small, some are bulging. This other Cyclops one, I've got him looking the other way. Again, just for a bit more variety. That Goblin Boss, I'm making him a bit snazzier. In there. Quite like the yellow eyes on the grey one. So yeah, um, I'm nearly done. So uh, I think I'll come back when I'm finished for one final look. All right, so here they are, all done. First one we'll look at is uh, this one, who's the uh, Squeak Hopper boss. Um, you might remember at the beginning of this, I had actually used um, uh, the headgear uh, when I did the Squeak Hoppers for my boss, so uh, I had to replace him. So this is not part of my, uh, my bouncers. But there he is, that's him done. All right, I'll put him out of the way. So in his place, this is the one that I did a couple of years ago. Yeah, he was my squeak hopper boss, but now he's the bouncer boss. So I haven't done anything to him. Let's line him up, shall we? I don't know if the light is gonna show these too well. Then we've got this Cyclops one. And what I've done this time, just for a bit of variety, I've actually got the pupil looking to one side. So it's like he's just about to move that away and attack something, even though his rider is looking straight ahead. Quite like this fella. I like, can I get that in? Yeah, I like his bandaged nose where the uh, the helmet has uh, dropped down. Uh, so we'll put him there. Oh, the light's a bit better now. Um, the brightest coloured one is this one. And I think I've said before, I don't like the smoke effect. but um, And I haven't even tried making it smoky, so I've got this uh, turquoisey colour. All right, who's next? And there's this one. With a big gob, like so. Uh, and this is my darkest one. Sorry about this, the, the light is bad today. All right, that's the dark one. And my other Cyclops one, this one straight ahead, as you can see, looking straight ahead. These have been great fun to do. Um, you know, I think I've said before, you know, I've had decades of doing Nurgle and Chaos and uh, it, it's very refreshing to do colourful colour schemes. There we go. And yeah, the ultimate gu gu idea here is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, when this pandemic has gone, return to my local shop and do some gaming. I'll have a proper Gits army by then. So this is a fleshy one. Not only just fleshy tones, but I put a lot of pink and red on him as well. All right. I quite like this yellow one. Come on. There we go. Yeah, really like him, how he's come out. All right. And a couple more to go. No, one more to go. What am I talking about? This one, can you see him? 
what I enjoy doing with him, and I want to do more, is uh, put more colours on. I like, I like doing the grading of the colours, right? The trouble with is with these bouncers and the hoppers is you've got a rider on the top, so uh, you'd have to put the figure on last thing and they're covering up any of the shading. So I really enjoyed doing that, and that's what I think I want to go for forwards with other squigs. And so that is these are my let's have a group shot. These are my bouncers. What I enjoy doing with him, I want to do on a much bigger scale because my next plan, when I can afford it, is to get the new version of the Mangler squigs and really go to town on the colouring because I've really enjoyed this project. So um, hopefully, before long, I'll be back with another one.